Minnesota Gophers, who were boycotting the Holiday Bowl, now say the game is back on. Mike Max joins us now, and you have a better sense as to what was behind this change of heart, Max. I do, and the stains are so deep with this program and this university right now that playing the game, all those things, there's so much they're going to have to get through now to heal and to repair what has been a damaging week. It's been a wild week for the Gopher football program, and the story is far from over. Today, the players said they will play in the game on December 27th. They originally planned to boycott the bowl after 10 of their teammates were suspended this week over an alleged sexual assault incident in September. Kate Raddix explains why the team decided to play and what the university president has to say about the players' values. University of Minnesota Gopher football players stood united at a press conference announcing they will play in the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. It became clear that our original request of having 10 suspensions overturned uh, was not going to happen. Wide receiver Drew Walatarski said the seniors met with University President Eric Kaler and Athletic Director Mark Coyle Friday night, where they agreed the suspended players would have a fair hearing, the team would be shown support, and that all of the players would bring more exposure to the issue of sexual violence against women. Our thoughts and prayers are out for the well being of the woman involved in the original incident and for our 10 teammates to ensure that they are treated fairly. And this is an educational moment. I mean, the great things about college campuses is that you can have different opinions and you can express, so that you can express those opinions, but you have to be respectful during that process. President Kaler said he was pleased the Gophers will play in the bowl just over a week away. He said he stands by the decision to suspend the 10 players based on university values. He also wanted the team's values to be clear. The football team action. Uh, was in support of their teammates. It was not in support of sexual violence. There is only one acceptable way to treat all women, and that is with the utmost respect at all times. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Gopher head coach Tracy Clays was not at the press conference, but he did tweet his support for the team on Thursday. Sources tell me this deal really got done well past midnight last night when the players, their lawyer, and a couple regents came to terms and got the ball rolling. I'm told President Kaler had departed. He may have returned later. They understood there was good to be gained by playing the game. At one point, and this is critical, they were told their coaches' futures may be in jeopardy. That got their attention. The players at the meeting then met early this morning with the rest of the team to notify the suspended players of their desire to move forward while still maintaining their support. What came out of all this? There is no defending the actions of a few from the night of September 2nd. And when the report was leaked detailing their actions, it was obvious players could not stand up for the way at least four players behaved that night. What the team will do is talk often about anti-sexual assault. But watch closely. They will speak often about due process. They believe the players suspended, particularly the last six, were put in a terrible place that they should have had a better hearing before they were suspended, and they hold the administration accountable for a botched process. Look for legal action and a specific unwritten campaign directed at the administration and a change in the process to get due process, a process, one region told me, that will be re-examined. I also expect suspensions, especially from the original four. I expect transfers from some of these players that will move on to other teams. And it could be nightmarish in terms of recruiting, trying to bring people into this culture at this point in time. So there's a whole lot of problems that haven't been resolved. Yeah, you said it, the story far from over. Yep. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you, Maxie.